Five reasons why you should consider upgrading your Canon 5D Mark IV. I'd like to invite you to subscribe to my channel because there, this will be a two-part video. So this is part one, and I'm shooting this on the Canon 5D Mark IV before I send it in for the C-Log firmware upgrade. So after I get it back, I'm gonna go ahead and do a part two. So again, I'd like to invite you to subscribe so that you can make sure that you catch that episode as soon as it's ready. And if you're interested in watching that second part video after the firmware update, please be sure to hit that like button so that I know and I can work on it as soon as I get it back. Okay, so here are my top five reasons why I'm gonna be sending in my Canon 5D Mark IV for that C-Log firmware update. So reason number five, I'm sending this camera back and I'm paying that $100 for the firmware update and of course shipping, right? Because the Canon 5D Mark IV produces beautiful images in both stills and video. Reason number four, this firmware update actually saves me money. And what I mean by that is that I can use the Canon 5D Mark IV as my B or C cam when I'm primarily shooting on my C300 Mark II. That means I don't have to buy a second or third C300 Mark II, so I save money. Now, that's what I expected and hoped to get out of the Canon XC10 and later on the XC15. What I couldn't do out of those cameras is match the stills quality that I can get out of the 5D Mark IV. So this is really exciting to me. Reason number three, performance. This firmware update will effectively enhance the performance of the camera to match that of the 1DC. And I love shooting with the 1DC. So I'm going to be able to have actually more performance than or better performance than the 1DC because it's shooting in the same codec except it has dual pixel autofocus. So I'm gonna have a bump in performance without paying that 1DC price. That's exciting. Reason number two, I'm protecting my investment. With this firmware update, Canon effectively took one of the major handicaps away from this camera. So now everyone else on the internet who in the past did not like the 5D Mark IV because of whatever reasons, now really only have two things to complain about. The fact that in 4K it crops the sensor, which by the way, to me, is not an issue because I primarily shoot in Super 35, right? On both my Red Epic W or my C300 Mark II. So that added crop in the sensor is really not an issue to me. The second thing is 60p. I don't shoot 60p primarily, and when I do need slow motion, I bring my red camera, or if I need something higher than the red camera, I actually rent it in. So 60p, not a big deal to me. The number one reason why I'm gonna be sending in my 5D Mark IV in for that firmware update and add C-Log is because of C-Log. C-Log is beautiful. C-Log is easy to grade. C-Log protects and preserves the Canon skin tones that it's known for. C-Log allows me to match my C300 Mark II and the 5D Mark IV effortlessly and really quick in post. So that's the number one reason. Really excited and I'm gonna be happy to pay that $100 to send in my camera so that they can upgrade it and give me the ability to have C-Log internally on the 5D Mark IV. Hopefully you found this video entertaining and maybe the information a little bit useful. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe so that you can see the part two of this video once the camera comes back. Until next time, I'm Carlos Quintero from Media on Q, helping you compete in today's web economy. Thank you for watching.